Our next guest. Our next guest is a friend of many years and one of the great jazz artists in music. And uh, Buddy and his entire band are going to be appearing tonight and tomorrow night at the Comedy Store here in Los Angeles, right up on Sunset Boulevard. Then out at Pepperdine University in Malibu on Friday, and then he closes the Monterey Jazz Festival on Sunday. Would you welcome Mr. Humble, Buddy Rich. <laughs> Buddy. Da, 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 do. You know, I, I did not know until today that your birthday comes at uh, right at the start of our end of our seventeenth year, September thirtieth. Thirtieth, yes. Yeah. And you start on October first. October first, right? yeah. Great. Congratulations. I'm, really? That's great. I know. I know how old you are. Yeah. But you are amazing. Does it bother you when people ask how old you are? No. Because remember, I remember now, seriously now, I've been a fan of yours for many years, you know that, and we're friends. All the people watch us sometimes, they, they don't figure out what's going on. Right. I remember when I was in school, mm -hmm. in high school, yeah. listening to you play with all of the big bands and trying to emulate you and so forth, and you were playing with big bands when you were 16, 17 years old, right? 18. 18 years old. First, the with... first band I played with was a small jazz band in New York. Right. At the Hickory House, I was 16. Then I know you were Dorsey because yeah. I remember a movie called Las Vegas Nights. That's the first thing we ever did. Right. At, uh, Paramount Pictures, right. And it was set up in Las Vegas. I think at that time there were two hotels in Las Vegas or something like that. Uh, the band had both of them. That's right. And you were, you were 18 now. Can I ask you how old you're going to be? Do you mind? I'll be 62. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. You're a big kid. You see what happens when you're crazy? You don't look like you get old. You, you, I mean, it's a, it's a wacko sense of humor. I feel great. Yeah, and, you're, and you play better than ever. Well, I like to have a good time up there. The band sounds good. Yeah. As a matter of fact, last night, if I can just, just get this in, last night right. we did a thing, a private party for all the musicians in uh, Hollywood. Uh. And Artie Shaw was there, and Hank Mancini, David Rose. And I just want to take this moment, if they're watching, to right. thank them for coming out, because it was really an exciting night. All the musicians were just dynamite. That's great. And I thank you for coming out. It was Because really great musicians really appreciate going to watch other guys. Well, it, it was a party last night. It was really fun. You're not so had a great time. Yeah, you've got a great band. The guys yeah. are young and they... Uh, and they're they... young and they're talented and they're a drag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was wondering how long you could go, <laughs> Mr. Nice Guy. No, before... oh. no they are. No. You get, you're working out, aren't you? You're going to work... Uh... <laughs> We're going to work together again in October. October? No, September 20th and September, 1st. This coming? Yes, next weekend. That's right. A week, two weekends. From right. now, we'll be at the Sahara. We're going to be at the Sahara Hotel right. together. Uh -huh. And do we do two shows there a night? Yeah. You do two shows tonight. I'm going to be there at both of them. Both shows. We're at the comedy store tonight and tomorrow night. Are you and going to sing and do part of the old act you used to do at the Larry Potter Supper I'll Club? I'll play on chairs and then I'll probably lose my mind and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to dance. And you remember that? The history of the drums. Of course it's I remember It's the that. worst act in show. <laughs> it cost me $20,000 to bomb. <laughs> it wasn't that. Oh, it was it bad. Was. It was really bad. You know, when I was at your house once in Las Vegas, I was amazed. Seriously. I thought I knew you pretty well. Mm -hmm. And I looked around expecting to see set a drum somewhere in the den or the... Mm -hmm. No indication at all that you uh, no, I, are even uh, in the music business. No, when I when I finish playing at night, <coughs> that's the end. You really uh, just want to... Yeah, that's it. I don't touch the drums until it's time to go to work. Never and practice? That, no, never. That way I, I can approach the thing fresh at night and feel good. You know, otherwise you're up there practicing and your whole day... I like to spend the day swimming and get the sun, do whatever so I So when you do. go to work, you do it and then... Do it and, and get out. I get in there and feel really good. And get out. And keep your energy level yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's remarkable. Yeah. Because those I'm guys are always practicing. Really, really marvelous. And I didn't know, now this sounds almost like a fan, you collect what? autographs. Oh, yeah. I collect autographs from everybody. I'm a big fan of almost everybody that does anything in this business. Yeah. And baseball, football. Who? Terry Bradshaw is my idol. Hmm. Well, he's a, he's a great quarterback. Oh, well, you that got, whole team, that whole team. You have his autograph? Uh, I haven't gotten his autograph yet. I've never been to Pittsburgh when the weather's been right. <laughs> Terry only comes out when the weather comes right. out when it snows. <laughs> That's right. Uh, who do you have, for example? Mm, let me see. Give me some big uh, So Lawrence Olivier. Well, that's, um, that's not Jose Greco. I went to see him. Yeah, right. That I went one? to see him one time at the Sahara Hotel in Vegas. It was such a thrill, and his concept is yeah. so amazing. Yeah. I got up after the show, and Marie, my wife, said, right. um, where are you going? I said, I'm going back to get his autograph. And she, she said, to me like, a, you know, yeah. what are you doing? And I went back, and he, it was funny, because he's from Brooklyn originally, yeah. right? Which is where I'm from. And as I started to tell him, hey, hey, let's hear it. 
Well, I went back to see him. And his man at first said, you know, cool it, wait a minute, who are you, and so and so. And he came to the door. Thought it was a problem. And, yeah. He came in and he gave me a big thing about being of a big course. fan of mine. And we sat and rapped for about 20 minutes. It was really beautiful. You know, you've never, you, you've never asked for a... Um... <laughs> I mean, my autograph. But we were talking about biggies. And who would read it to you anyway? <laughs> right, right. <Well, yeah. laughs> I mean, what would you know? <laughs> right. Okay, you're gonna come back. You're gonna do a little thing. We'll be right back. You can hey, practice. I'm gonna practice right? <laughs> when you're hot and thirsty, when you need it most and expect it least. Wow, it's fresca! Wow, it's fresca! Wow, it's fresca! Sugar-free Fresca has a bright, clean, tingling taste that refreshes you surprisingly fast. Mmm! What a wonderful surprise! What a wonderful ah! surprise! Fresca! Dr. Wayne Dyer, author of the bestseller, Pulling Your Own Strings. I'm Wayne Dyer, and in my new book, Pulling Your Own Strings, I'm going to give you the ammunition against the people who may be trying to manipulate you. Read it. And it'll show you how to deal firmly and effectively with your boss, with co-workers, with friends, with clerks and bureaucrats, and even your own family members. Isn't it about time you took charge of your own life? Pulling Your Own Strings, a national bestseller by Dr. Wayne Dyer. Whoa, Nelly. Try a handful of them Pepperidge Farm cookies. Got 36 kinds. Old-fashioned ones like Ginger Man cookies and brownie chocolate nut cookies. Fancy ones like Milano cookies made with sweet chocolate and no artificial preservatives. Here. Fellas, I said a handful. Try Pepperidge Farm cookies. Kids never could resist them. Neither can grown-ups, because Pepperidge Farm remembers. We told you we were going to let you go, but have you ever heard of the Little Lindbergh Law? What happened in the onion field is true, but the real crime is what happened after. Do you know what the Lindbergh Law is? That kidnapping carries capital punishment. You're wrong. Up until the moment the first shot was fired, the little Lindbergh Law didn't apply. <laughs> Joseph Wombaugh's The Onion. World premiere Wednesday, September 19th at selected theaters from AFCO Embassy Pictures, rated R. Here's Doc and the band and Buddy. Go, guys.
Man. And we will be right back. Stay with us. What do you mean? Have you heard about new Yes? Yes! The heavy-duty detergent plus fabric softener. All in one. Yes! Yes has all the cleaning power of any leading detergent, liquid or powder. Plus, it softens, leaves clothes smelling, mmm, fresh, and controls static cling. Yes! New Yes cleans and softens in just one step. Yes, detergent plus fabric softener. Yes! It's official. The biggest clearance offer in Ford history just got bigger. Ford's answer to rebates, the largest incentives ever available to its dealers. See your Ford dealer and discover how many hundreds of dollars you can save on new trimmer LTDs, Mustang pace car replicas, elegant Thunderbirds, tough V8 pickups, vans, Broncos, Rancheros, and with Ford's new anti-corrosion warranty, a Ford deal may be your best deal. Do yourself a favor. See your Ford dealer. Sippin' Yogurt, the delicious yogurt drink mix you're making an instant. It's fresh and cool, thick and creamy, and so convenient you'll love it, snack time or any time. If you like eating yogurt, you'll love Sippin' Yogurt. New instant Sippin' Yogurt from Alba. Real good for your yogurt in three fruit flavors and plainer fancy. In the Alba dry mix section of your supermarket. you love Sippin' Yogurt. I'll ship to that. to mention, after uh, the Monterey Jazz Festival, you go to the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco. Which is always a... It's a great club. A great it's really a great there. club to play. My next guest...